What's up everybody and welcome back here for another Torque Drift episode here for today on this Torque Drift full week. Today is Friday, beginning of FD weekend. Well, not really beginning, FD started yesterday with practice, but today they're at qualifying and stuff at Monroe, Washington, which is con very convenient that we got Monroe, Washington here in Torque Drift. But today it's all about that teal and blue, that field suspension, Falcon tires, S14.5 of Odie Bakshis. And uh, I do have Odie Bakshis S14.5 here. That Falcon Tires field suspension. It even got the cutout in his fenders for how low it sits. The detail in this car is incredible. And it's amazing now that they have the actual FD logo on the side. And I believe they updated Matt Fields' and stuff as well. As well as Rad Dam Briquette. If you remember last time they had the Torque Drift logo in them. But now... If you got the Odie Bakshi's car, you got the FD logo. Well, now the other cars have the FD logos in them now instead of the Torque Drift logo because you can now get the FD logo yourself when you do get it. And it is in the paint shop. We're going to go take a look at that real quick. And then we will get into the teal and blue all day specials. It's not there. So it's probably in sponsors. I know it's here. I did get it, but question, where is it? Where are you? Right there. The Formula Drift logo is now in there. So now we have the ability to put the Formula Drift logos if you want to make your name plates and stuff. If you have, you get the special buy with the Odie Bakshi's car. So, like I said, it's all about that teal and blue with the S14.5 because we do have it, but we also have the chase challenge now i've already completed the chase challenge i got 103 i believe but we are chasing down the Odie boxes himself so we're going to do that again real quick see if we can't get a higher score we're going to change our uh change our tires a little bit around and then we're going to take Odie boxy's car for a rip but first we're going to go against the man himself the smooth driver of Odie, in that teal and blue falcon tires s14.5 so let's see what we can do in the chase. Kind of uh, over accelerated him there. We're gonna kick our way in. Try and stay as close as we can to Odie's door. It's a little bit off there. I wish I would have been closer and closer to the wall. And transition hide. Oop, there we go. Aw, oh, no. Come back. Scraping walls. Definitely not going to be my highest run because I'm a little bit off right now. So unfortunately, we're probably going to try this one again to try to get as much higher and closer run as we possibly can. Here against Odie on the yard. Just kind of banging on Odie's door, letting him know I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. But we are going to give this one more shot, the chase challenge again, to try and get a better score. But I did complete it. Like I said, I do have my things. But I would like to get into the ranking, which is now 116. So 92049 is my highest so far. I'm going to give this one more shot, and then we're going to take Odie's car for a rip and uh, see what we can do in that car, see how it handles. And then we'll definitely take a look at Monroe because we do have it here in Torque Trip. We don't have it. There's no, I don't believe... Uh, tandem events available, but we will take practice and take Odie's car out. I was kind of way off that transition. Surprised I was able to bring that car back. A little bit shaky for some reason right now. Trying to catch up to his door. There we go. Did not want to tap the wall. So if you guys have completed this challenge, let me know what you guys got on the scores because I was able to get it within my first try. I was able to get over that 100,000 chase to get uh, the total score allotted for the, ch the challenge. Odie's car definitely looks amazing sliding. Hopefully it handles as good as it looks. You know, maybe we found our new favorite, you know, FD Pro car to use in the game. So once again, not a good run for our chase. I've done better. But like I said, we're going to go take a look at Odie's car and, uh, have a little fun with Odie's car here today. Hopefully, like I said, it handles just as good as it looks. 
So I did say we did get Monroe. So we don't have Monroe event available. We do have the uh, Long Beach section. So we're going to go run Monroe first. Right there. Monroe, Washington. We're going to take Odie's car out. It's an amazing track. Nice sweeper. Long, long turns. Got to make sure you brake though going into the other transition. So we haven't touched Odie's car. We're going to run it how it sits and see how this thing runs. Okay, so I probably should start in a higher gear. Pick it in. Would it be like to be closer to that wall? Definitely would have liked to have been closer to the wall. Apparently his car rips a lot harder than my cars, so definitely gonna take a second to get used to the car. And we are definitely gonna redo that run because we may tweak some things around with his car actually. So we're gonna go retry. We're gonna take a look at what we got going on, 40 and 11. Okay, we're gonna leave the tire profiles, but I wanna check tire pressures. We're gonna drop tire pressures down a little bit, and we are going to soften the rear up. Try to get this car to handle a little bit how I want it. Ooh, 100% drift lock, go back to tuning. And go kit zero camber we're gonna run a little bit of camber i know i am tweaking this a little bit but we want to see if we can't get this thing to handle it kicked up 65 degrees and we're going to kick it's not actually changing the camber in the thing all right we're gonna change the camber adjust caster up Let's see what our suspension's at 10 12 okay Tire pressures are at 20, we'll go at 22. And I don't think we can adjust anything else. So we're gonna go. We're actually gonna restart that run because it was not on throttle. So we adjusted the suspension and everything a little bit to see what we can get it to handle like. We're gonna throw it in fourth gear and see how it starts in fourth. So it does start nice in fourth. Kick it in. That's much better on the wall. Still would have liked to have been a little bit closer. Run that out a little bit too wide, but much better run than the last run, so the tweaks did adjust it a little bit better. So not a bad run so far. So still getting used to his car, but the car definitely is a fun car to drive. So I think we're gonna go to Road Atlanta, or not Road Atlanta. Long Beach, maybe Atlanta too if it's here. And we're gonna run, we do have both, Atlanta and Long Beach. We're gonna run Long Beach section, try and get some tandems with Odie's car, and uh, have a little fun with the S14.5. Definitely one of my favorite looking cars. NRG also on the front. Looks like we're going against Brandon. So, not quite sure how this is gonna react here, but uh, we're gonna go send it anyways. Odie Bakshi's car. Definitely a cool car to have in the game. Very consistent driver and uh, current points leader. So this car grips up a lot, I've noticed. And I don't think I can run this car in third gear, but it looks like it might either be bogging down or maybe it's just that grippy. 97 is still not a bad run, but we did get bested, so we're gonna have to try and do our best in the chase. So we're gonna try and see what it looks like in third gear. Kinda of overshot him there. And there, gonna transition. Third gear, not the best choice for gearing right now. Unfortunately, gotta get used to how the car grips compared to my cars. It's definitely a fun car to drive. I feel like I could get used to it and get it dialed in and uh, definitely has some fun. Oh, we did still win, but just barely. So we are gonna try and redo that. We're gonna try and get our better line here. Fourth gear is definitely where we need to go. And we're gonna try and get a good transition in. So it grips very well 
as soon as you flick in the angle. So kind of where you put it is where it's going to go. So you need to set it where you need it to go and pretty much forget it. That's a much better run. Much more solid of a run here at Long Beach. Definitely curious how this car would handle it with Atlanta 2. So 110 to 102. So I think we did get a better lead, obviously. So now we're going to have to try and not overshoot him in the chase and make sure we uh, get a solid chase run to take home another win. There we go. Trying to not overshoot him. Running a very short line, almost a hard to follow line, but we are still able to get in there. Cody's car definitely uh, doing work here today for sure. 139 to 128, and he's not going to want to go again. So we're going to go try, hit up Road Atlanta real quick, and then probably end this episode off here. Just a small video for you guys with Odie Bakshi's car and uh, Monroe track. So I would like to uh, run it once with my BMW to try and see what we can do at Monroe and run that bank because I was running it on the bank and it was definitely a lot of fun with that car. Like I said, I just gotta get this car dialed in. It looks amazing with the front bumper. It looks like somebody else with Odie Bakshi's car. Odie versus Odie. Definitely a way to end this episode off. Somebody else rocking Odie's car as well. Fourth gear, I'm down the chute. Oh wow, hard flick in, way off transition point. But uh, we managed to hold it together and somehow save that. We didn't get the initiation points because we were wonky entry, but we managed to somehow save that entry. That was a very hard flick entry for sure. Just a quick snapback is because we were on the grass and it transitioned so hard. So we got to make sure we get a solid chase to take home the win and end this episode off on a high note. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Jeez, oh man, this car transitions so quick. We are kind of offline. But he is kind of offline as well. Like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and tap the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. I do appreciate all the support. Make sure you tap that like button and bell notifications if you want to be a part of the notification gang. So I believe we took the win there. So as always, I'll like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More content coming with Torque Drift. The sim setup build is a video is going to be coming. I'm building the new wheel base as well as all that content with my wheel setup. So... Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys on the track and on the next video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys next time.